Back in Oktoberfest, of course, is a decidedly German celebration with massive beer steins and Lederhosen. Um, and of course, those come to mind. But a local German distillery is holding their first Oktoberfest event. And we have creative director Bridget Loffelholz here with a Damp Work in St. Louis Park, which is just a great spot. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. Not cocktails at 9 a.m. Who could complain, Yeah, who right? could complain about this? Talk okay, about so you, of course, do not serve beer at your distillery. You yeah. have all these uh, wonderful um, items on your menu, but not beer. So tell me what you did in order to come up with this uh, this event. Yeah, so being a German family, we really wanted to participate in the Oktoberfest, but kind of being sacrilegious that we don't have beer at a distillery. So what we wanted to do was kind of an offshoot, something that we could completely own. So we created our own version of an Oktoberfest called Tag und Nacht, which is essentially say, kind of pick your player. Uh, you can come in the morning, afternoon. Um, we'll have some Bratas, uh, Gerhard's Bratwurst, Aki's Bretzeln. Um, as well as some cornhole. And then in the evening, we have a DJ spinning some house German tunes. Oh, so wow. So it'll be a little bit more of a cocktail lounge, a little bit more bumping. So that evening. means day to night, right? Day and night, yeah. Day and night. Exactly. So talk about this. This is really unique, what uh, you came up with this. Yeah, here. so this was my father's uh, creation, so Rolf. Um, what we wanted to do was, again, bring beer into a distillery. And so what we did was we worked with local breweries, such as Udapels, uh, Dual Citizen, Steel Toe, Fulton, Blackstack, uh, big names to create a beer distillate. So what we have done is launched a three-pack limited edition uh, beer schnapps, uh, or beer brandy is what we're calling it. So we have three different types of distilled beers, which we'll be promoting uh, for our launch at the distillery for the Taganacht. And that's what we're going to use to make yes. this. So it, 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 as you mentioned, it, it, the hops are not there, but a lot of the other uh, flavors of beer are in these uh, yes. these wonderful uh, spirits. Okay, so what do you do here? Yeah, so this is actually um, the one that I think resembles more closely to a beer in our three pack. It's the Udapils Quadriga. It's basically a uh, Belgian quad beer. So it has a lot of character and a lot of body. And for our Oktoberfest cocktail, we are using this with a little bit of rabbit in the rye, uh, smoked pomegranate, ginger, and uh, lemon juice. And of course, a little bit of saline. So I'm just gonna give this a quick little shake to kind okay. of cool. All right. And it's gonna be really juicy, aromatic, and of course, my style for cocktails always includes a little bit of salt. Think like cooking, all of those good flavors brought to the forefront. And then I char a little bit of a lemon peel to again, get a little bit more of that kind of maltiness that would be coming from a beer. Express that guy, drop and it in. Your bottles are so beautiful. What a great gift this is. Yes. Um, they're just, I mean, the, your mom, of course, a big part of the, the design here, but they're so beautiful. I, I mean, know. they're great. All right, so this, what do you call this cocktail? Oh goodness, I haven't gone that far. <laughs> Next week I'll have a name, but it's gonna be our Taganacht cocktail. Um, if I find something funky, if someone wants to leave something in the comments for a good cocktail name, all right. I'm all ears. All so. right, so what do we say? Prost. Prost, that's what Prost. I thought. Okay, we'll try this. That's fabulous for 9 a.m. You kidding me? It's Very fabulous. juicy. <laughs> Everything they have there is wonderful. So um, next weekend is this event, right? On yes. Saturday? Yep, uh, noon to midnight. Noon to midnight, Yeah. Wow. So noon to eight is kind of like our daytime events, and then the DJ will be coming on at 8 p.m. And, and we'll your whole them. entire family will be in the Lederhosen, right? Yep, yes. uh, the boys, I mean the men, my apologies, um, are gonna be in that traditional, the shorts and whatnot. My mother and I went a little bit practical with some good Lederhosen pants, so. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Okay, wonderful, well, congratulations. Yeah on that and if you want Thank to find you. out more about uh, this event is all happening next weekend at Dam Fork which is a great place to stop at any point in time because it's such a beautiful spot and that is all happening as she mentioned next Saturday from noon to midnight we have all the details on carol11.com well coming up